Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of the Senna Reef Monitor unboxing and quick review. In this uh, second part, what we're going to do is we're going to put the slide that's been soaking in some of my tank water for the last 48 hours, we're going to put it into the Senna Reef Monitor, register the slide and get it plugged into my laptop and we'll see what it looks like. So in here, for the last 48 hours, you can just about make it out of the bottom there, there's been, this, been the uh, slide that's been soaking in some tank water for the last 48 hours. Now, in part one, I did say it was 24 hours. It's actually 48 hours for marine for marine tanks. Um, if it's uh, fresh water or pond, it's 24 hours. So for marine, it's 48. So that's been in there with some tank water. And what we're gonna do is get it installed into there and then use this to register the slide. So the first thing to do is take the back off this. It comes off really easy. And just in here, that is where the slide is going to fit. Now there is a little notch taken out in that corner, so there is only one way it will fit in. Now let's get the slide out. Now you need to be careful, there are two, two little pads on the slide, which you mustn't touch. Well the instructions say you don't touch them. So you hold it, use it with two fingers, it's fairly easy, and then make sure the notch is lined up and then we just place that in there like so and then we put the cover back on okay that's that part done okay what we'll do now is we'll plug this into the laptop and we'll uh, register the the slide and get the actual sensor working get it into the tank and see, uh, see it taking some readings. So I finally got the Senna Reef to actually install properly, get it updated and taking some readings and my first readings have sort of been sent, sent online. Um, it was a little bit more fiddlier than I was expecting and I think some of the, it's not as refined as I was hoping. One of the things that I've sort of picked up there is obviously I've spelt tank wrong and I've yet to find where I can actually change that. Um, it seems quite limited in sort of what things you can change or modify and stuff like that. So I would certainly for this interface, there's certainly room for improvement. But one thing I did did sort of in between videos, I've noticed that a couple of things they promised, you know, sort of like other readings um, have sort of been outstanding for over a year now. So I'm not sort of hopeful of any updates anytime soon, but it's up and running. Um, it now seems to be sort of taking taking readings. Um, what we can do is I'll, I'll show you the web interface when you've logged on so you can check your parameters um, online, whether you're at work or on holiday. One of the things it did pick up is obviously my pH is slightly high and because I've got web, uh, sorry, because I've got email and text alert, I got a, a message straight away saying my pH was a little high. Um, so that seems to be working. Um, so have a quick look at the web interface. Just uh, zoom out there, right. Right, so you've got two tabs. You've got the reef overview and actually more specifically your readings. And again, you can see where I've spelt it wrong. And what this does is give you a quick overall tank, uh, tank overview. So overall, my tank's not doing too bad. pH obviously is in the red and you can see that high. Temperature's a little bit high and I can sort of uh, bring that down a little bit. Um, ammonia is on, on the low side which is good and then as you notice some of my readings here uh, they're just they're just straight lines because obviously I've not not been taking too many readings um, so it's only the first reading so again uh, as you get more and more readings you will see a nice a nice chart appear there if you scroll down a little bit you can still see the temperatures there and then obviously a little bit of information when, when the last readings readings were taken. Okay, and then you've got another tab which just gives you a little bit more specifics about those, what, what you're looking at on that overview. Again, tank temperature, pH, the ammonia levels. And if you scroll down a bit, you've got some light readings. Also to one side, it also tells you how long or when you need to replace your slide next. So thanks very much for watching. If you've got any comments, 
um, or any questions uh, post them below remember to uh, like that's uh, always much appreciated and I will see you all in the next video thank you very much for watching